Our end goal right now is to do an entire laundry cycle from dirty laundry in a basket to everything stacked away after it's been washed and dried. And in general, one thing we've been working on, if you look around in the lab, is we've been trying to get the entire pipeline working. So we have a washer and a dryer now, we have folding tables and so forth. So we're looking at can we just start from a completely dirty laundry basket, unload it into a washer, dryer, then hang it or fold it. And so we have a lot of students work on this. Some are working on folding, some are working on how to open washer dryer, some are working on how to find objects in the washer dryer, and some are working on how to get coat hangers in there. I think about April last year we released a video doing the original tile folding, which we did with a PR2 robot, which is actually a, a prototype at Willow Garage. And then we received a robot in June. And the first thing we started working on was to see if we can speed up the towel folding process. The other one was I, you know, took 20, 25 minutes or something, and it would hold the towel up, twirl the cloth, and stare at it and try to find edges, which uh, took a while. What we do instead now is we can stare at it and find edges, or we can have gravity help us out. So we'll drag it, find a corner, drag it again, find another corner, and instead of an infinite number of possibilities, you've got two possibilities. You're either holding it this way or this way. So then it's just much simpler vision problem to just detect which you're holding and then flip it that way. One key improvement is that it doesn't rely on as dexterous motions anymore, and it also doesn't rely on as complex vision, which can take time. There's a few classes we're considering. We're considering shirts, pants, uh, we had skirts, we had uh, because the robot right now is only doing like baby clothes, we have like those onesies. For the demo, I'm going to tell it to that it might be either has a shirt or a pair of pants. The idea behind this part is the exact same as with the towel, so you just grab the bottommost point, and to do that we drag it across the table, and the thing that's on the furthest right will be the bottommost. It's going to grab it with the other arm. So now that it's done that, it's going to hold it up by both of the points it just grabbed. It's going to shake it out just in case it's caught on itself. Now it wants to figure out what it's holding and how it's holding it. And now what it's doing is it's simulating everything. So it's, it's considering between a shirt and pants, it's simulating how both of those look in every kind of configuration we consider. It's going to say, what can I reach here that helping get the hips? And in this case, it actually just reached the hips in one go. So that's what it's going to do. In general, it's been really nice to have the shared platform across many groups because uh, maybe if now, a month or two ago, we said, let's go from stationary working with the robot to have the robot go around in the room and open the washer and dryer and uh, go from a table with a dirty laundry or the wash laundry to washer dryer and so forth. And we, we didn't build any software for mapping or localization. It was just all built in and it just works. Having the robot just come out of the crate the way it is, is pretty amazing compared to what anybody else has been doing before. It's, uh, it's really nice.